Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing the problem of the day for yesterday that is biconnected graph. So in this problem you will be given a graph with n edges, e, uh, n vertices, e edges and an array ARR denoting the edges connected to the each other. So you have to tell whether the given graph is biconnected or not. Now what is a biconnected graph? So let's say if uh, you are given a graph like this, right, if you are given a graph of this kind. Then what you will uh, say is that this particular graph is a biconnected graph, right? But uh, if I will talk about a graph like this kind, let's say if I have a graph of this type, uh, where so I'll say that this graph is not biconnected. Now, what's the reason for that? So the reason for that is like uh, there are two conditions. The first condition is that for a graph to be biconnected. It should be connected. It should be connected. I'll tell you what the connected means. Now, the second point is it should have no articulation point, right? So first thing is that it should be connected. So from any node, from any node in the given graph, you should be able to reach to any other node. Like in this case, I can say that from this node A, I can reach to any other node. I can reach to B, I can reach to C, I can reach to D, right? So that's why it seems to be connected. and but let's try to check out for this so if i say that for this particular point i can definitely reach to this particular point so it seems to be connected but still the condition of articulation point is not satisfied why because what does articulation point means articulation point means that suppose that if i remove this particular point so if i remove this particular point then the edges uh, connected will also get removed so the rest of the graph uh, the rest of the graph is just a single component right it's still connected even after removing a particular point the rest of the graph is still connected right so that's the thing now let's try and see for this particular case what if i remove this particular point the middle point so in that case this point will get removed and these edges will also get removed right uh, right so this will be the thing now what you can observe is one thing that you can easily observe is that if i have removed it if i have removed the particular edge in between right this particular edge so you can see that uh, this particular when this particular point is removed so the graph gets divided into two or more different components right and that is something that you don't want it because you wanted the graph to be still connected but in this case you can easily observe that the graph becomes disconnected it is uh, disconnected into several components right so that's the thing the graph should be connected as well as it should have no articulation point now uh, what can be the situations so the situations uh, the approach can be that uh, the brute force the kind of brute force or the naive approach for this can be that you simply are at a point you simply are at a point for every point in the graph what you can do is you can tr try to remove it you can try to remove it right you if you remove this a you remove the edges if you do that then what will happen is, uh, then after that you can check whether the remaining graph is just a single connected component or not, right? So if you remove this, then you will maybe tr start a DFS from B, right? And then you move to C and then you move to D. So in just single traversal, you are able to traverse all the paths, right? So in that case, you will say that, okay, this particular graph is uh, like for every edges. Like after that, what you will do is after A, after what you will do is you will remove B and you will see whether uh, the rest of the graph is connected or not, right? So for every edge, for every edge, you will be applying a BFS, right? So it will be something like this uh, order of N square kind of an approach that is a brute force approach that is for every edge you will be applying a DFS. Uh, so that will take a lot of time, right? Uh, like in this particular case, let's say if this was the case that uh, the previous case that we just discussed, right? If this was the case. So in this particular case, you can easily observe that if, if I remove this particular point, then the graph gets uh, divided into two different components, right? And that is something that you will be able to find in the DFS. And then the moment you will find that, so you will definitely return a false, right? But is that the optimal way? No, this is not the optimal way. The optimal way to do it is using the uh, Tarjans algorithm, right? Uh, it is used for finding the articulation point. It can be used to find the articulation points. So that is how you have to do it. So let's try and move to the code part so that we can understand it better, right? So what you have to do in this particular problem is you have to apply the tar Tarjans algorithm. I'm assuming that uh, you know the Tarjans algorithm beforehand. If you don't know, then you can uh, let me know in the comments, right? So what you will be doing is you will be given this particular function that is bigraph. 
you will be given the array, you will be given the vector v, you will be given the edges e, right? So you will make a list, adjacency list, right? And you will iterate through all the two cross e edges and for the array of i, you will push array of i plus one as it has been mentioned, right? So they are, they are basically told you that array of i, array of i is connected to array of i plus one because this is a undirected graph and array of i plus one is connected to array of i right so these are the two things right so that's why you are making the adjacency list like this right once this part is done so you'll have a visited array you will have a uh, this right you will have a low you will have a parent that is nothing but the implementation of nothing but the uh, simple uh, tarjans algorithm right so you will try to see you will try to see if a node is not visited then you will do what you will uh, do the co uh, connected components plus plus you will simply up, up, you can simply up, apply the dfs part and then in the dfs part you can check check if there is an articulation point existing or not according to the uh, tarjans algorithm if there is an articulation point existing in that case uh, you will return a false immediately if it is not existing in that case you will return a true right thank you for watching this video in case if you have any doubts so you can mention that in the comments i'll reply to them as soon as possible and make sure to like the video thank you